Okay, good morning. Welcome to the Math 347A. Math 347A today. It's a nice uh, problem that Fawn Wynn shared earlier this week. It's been a while since we did a Fawn Wynn problem. Um, so she says there's a situation where you have some, some I guess, black cubes and some yellow cubes. All right? And they pair up. Okay, so these, these would form a pair. Okay, and she says, here's her, here's her challenge question. Two thirds of the black, oh sorry, three sevenths of the black cubes, three sevenths of the black cubes are paired with two thirds of the yellow cubes. Okay, every cube, when they pair, they just get only one pair. Okay, three sevenths of the black cubes are paired with two thirds of the yellow cubes. How many total cubes are in a pair? Well, or sorry, what fraction of the cubes are in a pair of the total cubes? So this says that three sevenths of the black equals two thirds of the yellow. You said the three sevenths of black are paired with two thirds of yellow. Yep. And there's only two in a pair, right? Yep. There's only ever two in a pair. So three sevenths of black equals two thirds of yellow. And we're trying to figure out what total. Of, of the uh, cubes are in a pair. Hmm. What so, fraction are in a pair? Not a decimal or a percent, just a fraction. Hmm. Well, we could try to make we could try to make all the pairs. Like we could try to make three sevenths and two thirds. Like that. That would take a while to okay. do. Hmm. You can do. You can approach this problem however you want. Well, so three sevenths of one are paired with two thirds of another. What can we do? Let's see. Well, three sevenths. So we need a number that's divisible by seven. How many do we have? So. Well, hmm. we can try an example. Good. We have twenty-one here. Yeah. What luck. So. And then we need two. So if we have. So, if we have th three sevenths of twenty-one, that's nine. Nine. Yeah. Six, nine. So and now this has to equal two thirds. So we need so nine. This is two thirds of the. Well, this doesn't work because you're gonna have half. Because this is two thirds, so one third would be four and a half cubes. Okay. So this this scenario doesn't work. I don't think. So let's add. Maybe if we have forty-two. What? If we have forty-two cubes total. What if we just add another sum? Twenty-eight. So we just need to add seven. So, so that means we get another three. Six. This is this is the three. So you have twenty eight. Okay, let me just check. Well, it actually doesn't really matter, we just need the three sevenths. Alright, how much is three sevenths of twenty eight? That's twelve. Okay. And then three two thirds of however many we have here is also twelve. Okay. Two thirds, so that means one third is six. So it means we have the total number of yellows we have is 18. Yeah. We should have 18. So 12. Yep, 18. And then these are paired up. So what is it? What fraction of the total number of cubes? Yep. So the total number of cubes we have is 28 plus 18. 15. So that's. 46. Yeah, 46. Okay. So you have 46. And then we need to. 24 of them are paired. Because. So 12 and 12. So we have 24 over 46. Which is 12 over 23. We just get 12 over 23. And 23 is prime. So 12 23rds. Okay. Very good work, guys. Very good work. Have fun.
I'm going to show you her way of solving it, just so you see it, okay? Alright. Because it's actually pretty neat.